Hello Lillas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me at Miss Randy Smith Babies. And also I have a blog called Miss Randy Smith Babies dot com. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, my battery is low. So anyway, I wanted to share my latest cuddle baby. Um, you guys may have remembered me referring to her as Ducky. I was thinking of trying to name her something. Maybe I was thinking of Dakota, but then I was like, I don't know. So she could still nickname would be Ducky for short. And then I went with Zuri and Zuri is really not sticking for me. So I may go back to D Dakota. Somebody suggested Dakota. Somebody suggested Callie. Um, she's not going to be my Callie, but I think I will do a Callie, um, at a later date. Um, I've had a London before, so I wanted to kind of give her something different, but that's not what I came to talk to you guys about today. I want to talk to you guys about the cuddle bodies that I use. And, you know, I think a lot of people are like, well, for those that are into cuddle bodies or even curious of trying them um there are so di so many different styles okay so i'm gonna get into that in just a second i'm gonna put i got a body another body that she was on and i took her off so this is her permanent body that she's on um so i feel like sometimes i sacrifice um the look of the baby outside of clothes for the posability and for how she feels versus more so of how it looks with no clothes on. Um, but I think she do she's doing pretty good um, with about a good balance of both. Sometimes you can you can get both. Um, I usually go with the darker brown bodies because I paint a lot of biracial AA babies, but some babies I've put on the lighter color uh, body if I know they're going to be really fairly light. All right. So, um, I wanted to show too, this is, you know, one of the things I love about the bodies is that you can pose them all different types of ways. And I don't have to feel weird about the fact that this is a cloth body. We already know that. So, I mean, I don't, it is what it is. Um, I typically have them dressed fully to cover them up, but sometimes, you know, it's still, you still can, <laughs> you can, you can, you can enjoy them without it if you want to. Um, so this body I like more because of the actual bends in the knees. Some people hate that because they're like, oh, you don't have that in your knee, but it's only because it helps them pose a lot better. I wasn't able to have fun with photos as much when she was on the other body, which is also a Reggie Ann's body, but apparently she changed how she was doing it for this, uh, the one fourth babies. Now on this one, the arms seem essentially longer, but I like it personally because when I'm doing different poses, it works for me. Um, way much better than the shorter arms so and I'm a poser I like to take take a lot of photos of my babies um especially my personal collection that's probably something I probably want to do a video one day about too um the difference in between when I have a baby up for sale versus my personal babies you may see a lot of videos and stuff on my channel of those babies but when I'm selling a baby you'll see a video or two or maybe one video or maybe no video um, because the you know I, I I enjoy my dolls I enjoy my collection um, and so if it just happened to be one that I end up selling the mommy end up having seeing their baby on my channel a lot Gosh, I'm ashy. A lot um, more than otherwise. All right, so let me see. You guys can't see, but 
the length of this body is kind of cool. Let me turn it this way, maybe. I don't want to knock over my bottle. All right. So the length of this body is pretty cool. All right. So this is the body that she was on previously. So, although I felt like I kind of liked the, hold on, I felt like I kind of liked the width on her too, I did ask, have this body a little bit adjusted for me, so, but, this one she was more filled out, like in the legs as you can see, I mean, it's thicker, but there's no bends here. So when I would try to do my little scrunchy positions and stuff like that, it was awkward because it's tight and I would have to either take most of the weight out and, or I mean, in the uh, fluff and make this more loose and saggy in order to be able to accomplish that. And same with the arms. The arms were pretty tight and pretty puffy. And so I didn't really necessarily like that. I spent a lot of money in bodies, I think, just trying to get them right. I almost always <laughs> end up buying like two bodies, if not three. I remember one time I bought like four bodies just to get the baby body right to my liking. Now, it's funny because I could spend all this time doing that and then the mommy get the baby and absolutely do not like Reggie and bodies at all and want to switch it and that's fine. That's their choice. That's the best part about Partials and cuddle babies versus full body silicone. You can't switch out the arms and limbs on a full body But you can do it with the These and also with the weighting. I usually adjust the weighting I'll take some of this out because the head has this stem in there That's gonna fill that part up and I like it a little loose so that the baby so that the baby can have more flop and flexibility. This is just stuff, it's stiff. And she does weight them very heavy, so I don't have to ever add any weight. I may take some out, the polyfill, so that she can be more flexible in the chest and the baby will fall more and feel, you know, just very newborn in my arms, but I will not, um, I don't usually add weight because the baby is usually pretty heavy. And I added like um, some baby powder scent in in the body. And so, and they smell good. So I just wanted to share that. <laughs> this will have on a pretty, I need to change this diaper because it is really getting in the way of things. I wonder if I should put her on this cloth diaper. This is for a really small baby though. Because this diaper is so big and it's square like, it's kind of given. That off in the thing, but I'm putting it in a cloth diaper. And you know, that probably will help. I could do this one, but I think I want to do this. Alright, so yeah. That way, when I turn her over, like on her bum, it doesn't look so square. See how the, the arms kind of swing out because they're they got a little bit of length on them they're not like spider arms or anything but and then you gotta have to play with this part to get them the way that you want them <laughs> and but now this this the bum bum part at least don't look I 
and I'll spend time like getting this oh I can't do it from this angle oh my gosh I'm trying to reach underneath but you get what I'm saying like I'll I'll adjust and adjust until I get this the way that I want it there we go like I said I'll tuck those legs until I get it the way that I want it and then they usually have more of an arch in their little back <laughs> I'll just keep playing until I figure it out but yeah so it's it's definitely a lot more flexible baby you are all over the place look at this it looks weird and I could have cut down the silicone a little bit more in there but I like it for stability <laughs> it for stability of the inside for all the moving and stuff that I'm going to do. Look, look at her. Like, oh my gosh, my mama. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. So <laughs> this is the craziness that I, I do with my babies behind the scene that you guys probably never really think. I'm doing and sometimes when they are in here and not on camera I have them posed all crazy I love the bottom of this baby feet I don't like the top of her feet I, don't, I think I could have done better or I might I can, I'm possibly later will take them off and even paint a little bit more on the top of the feet but the bottom of the feet, I love it. Um, so yeah, so I would, I would do something with the little arms and yeah, just I would just play around until I am happy with how I have her pose. But again, like I said, this part I I like mainly just because. I have so much to work with as far as posing. If that baby arm was short or T-Rex, I wouldn't be able to enjoy it. Like I could take this and put that up under her like that. And so now she's like this. And I could take this leg and I could, I could take them. And so if she had on pants, right, you wouldn't see exactly all the little crazy bends in her limbs. You would just see the feet in the posing and so that part wouldn't show kind of like let me see if I have a blanket blanket across her like like you wouldn't you wouldn't see all of that you would just see you see what I'm saying you don't see how she's scrunched up underneath you just see the results of the feet sticking out and this and this so that's how it go um or I you know would do a little something like that and then from the back angle you would see let me show you, you would just see a little bit of the diaper sticking out <laughs> like that right so yeah it's 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 fun um i i enjoy this part <laughs> but choosing the right body for me is critical for me personally for bonding um and how i feel about the baby if i don't like it um 
I can't necessarily bond and I don't like the then I just don't like the dissolve as much so there's that come here I need to get put her some hand mitts on I haven't did that um I've been just showing off her little hands lately and feet out but I think she'll be cute with hand mitts too so that's just a little fun a little something about the cuddles that I love is the way they pose and I found recently that I particularly like heavier babies for holding um whether they're full bodies or not and I also like the cuddles more for holding um than the full bodies as well and even more than my reborns because they do have the weight of the silicone and the the the, the realism of a feel of it but they also have the cuddleness of a reborn oh my battery's gonna die see you guys later thanks for watching bye bye